Hey guys, what's up? It's Matchpoint here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an updated 2020 guide for Ella in Rainbow Six Siege. So, if you do find this video useful, consider dropping a like on the video. And if there are any topics that you would like me to cover next, if you are struggling with them, make sure to comment them down below so I know you're interested. And if you do have any questions about the video or about Siege in general, feel free to either ask me them in my Discord, where there's a load of other people in there and there will be a link down below, or when I stream on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. If you are new around here, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get on into it. This updated guide is going to cover everything that you need to know about the Operator Ella. We're going to be going over her ability, her loadout, her desired roles, and as well quite a few tips and tricks that will be very useful to expand your knowledge when using Ella. First of all, we are going to be starting off with Ella's loadout. For Ella's primary weapons, she will offer you the Scorpion Evo 3A1, which is going to be that fast fire rate submachine gun, or you can go for that shotgun, which is the FO12. Now the Scorpion over here, the submachine gun, has an insanely quick fire rate, it's quite ridiculous, but as well it can deal that damage, however the recoil pattern on it is quite all over the place and it can be hard to control that recoil. If you are able to learn and control that recoil on the Scorpion Evo, it is going to be a fantastic submachine gun and you won't regret that decision, however on different platforms it can be quite hard to master it. If you are on console it is going to depend on how committed you are to be able to learn that recoil pattern and control the recoil and as well if you are able to do it. If you're someone who struggles to control the recoil on the SMG 11, then the Scorpion Evo is going to be an even bigger task. If you are going to be on PC, then I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and learn the recoil for the Scorpion Evo, no matter what, as it is really going to help you in learning recoil control for other weapons, as well as this one has definitely got a high recoil, but as well it can be a great asset to use when you master it. Now on the other hand, we do have the FO12, which is the shotgun. The shotgun is quite frankly amazing here, it deals quite a bit of damage, doesn't have too much recoil on it, it is controllable definitely, and as well it's got a decent fire rate, overall a very solid and strong shotgun. This is going to be the main alternative weapon for those on console who aren't able to control the recoil for the Scorpion Evo, and it is really going to help you to lock down that playstyle, but as well, on PC it's going to offer you that alternative playstyle depending on how close you want to get. The type of weapon you choose here is going to depend on how you're going to be playing throughout the game and what your team needs you to do during the round. And we will be diving into this in later detail with the desired roles and as well Ella's ability, so make sure to stick around. Now then for the secondary weapons, Ella is only going to offer you one here, which is going to be that RG15 which is a handgun, and it does come with a sight attached as well, and overall it is a solid secondary to her. And then for the gadgets, Ella does bring the barbed wire or the deployable shield. Now in this situation, I'm going to recommend you to take that barbed wire, it is going to be very heavy on your roll and your playstyle, and we will dive into that. The barbed wire does make a great combination with Ella's ability, and we will be showing you this later on when we do dive into Ella's ability. Now the deployable shield is really going to be here, if you are needing it to anchor down and hold the sight down, which is another alternative playstyle for Ella. Now adding on to the recoil control of the Scorpion, I just wanted to touch on this at the end of the loadout to give you guys some tips for that recoil, as it is quite a lot. Now in this situation, you are going to be control it like you would with other weapons such as the SMG-11. Instead what you're going to be having to do is tap firing the weapon and making sure that you're not holding that trigger down for so long that you're using the whole magazine, as once it gets after so many bullets, that recoil is going to go out the window. You've got to remember that it's an SMG, it's not meant for those long range fights. Try to get as close as possible and when you do that fire rate is going to rip through them. The main three things here are to make sure that you get up close and personal with the Scorpion, but as well you are also going to make sure that you are tap firing the weapon and as well not holding that trigger down so you use the full magazine in one go, as that recoil can get seriously high. Now next up we are going to be moving on to Ella's desired role. Now for Ella's desired roles here, I would say that she can definitely play quite a few. She is a bit of a mix and match operator. Now some obviously are going to be stronger than others. Now the roles that probably suit her the best are going to be a roamer or a lurker as she can get quite up close and personal. The roaming capability is going to allow you to get up close and personal with the enemy when you are using that shotgun 
or that SMG, and as well you're going to be able to tear up the scene. The roaming role is going to allow you to use those Grismont mines for that intel and come up behind the enemy and execute those flanks. As well as this you're going to be able to delay the enemy's time and as well stop them from gaining that map control because your presence is there holding it down as that roamer. Now I would also like to argue that Ella can play that anchor role. Now this isn't going to be her preferred role, however she can definitely fit into it. She won't be able to act as heavily as she would be able to when roaming on those Grismot mines when they do go off, however realistically she can use that deployable shield to her advantage and it is when I would recommend you to pick it if you are going to be anchoring. Especially when you are going to be taking that shotgun with Ella, you are able to hold down the main choke points and the entry points into sight, watch them down and wait for the enemy to push in and take them out. As well, you'll also be able to hold down the enemy with the deployable shield, using the different angles to peek from, and as well delay their time. Next up, we are going to be moving on to Ella's ability. Now the main objective here with Ella is going to be finding an area that you can control and hold down, and mainly contest from the attackers which is why she is such a good operator for stopping the enemy from gaining that map control and needing that crucial point. The positioning of your Grismot mines is going to allow you to place them down in an area that isn't too close to you, however you need to be placing them down in varied positions in your area to cover you. Remember to keep track of where you are placing them, but they will make quite a loud noise when they go off and the concussion effect will concuss the enemy and slow them down. As a roamer, your job here is to delay the enemy's time, but as well deny their map control, which is why I'd recommend Azella to hold down those main areas and key areas of the map. These are examples such as the 90 corridors on Coastline and Villa, for example, and as well on Bank you have CCTV, which is a very common push point and entry point for the attackers. Holding down the CCTV area is a crucial aspect. Use your own presence and as well the Grismot Mines to stop the attackers from gaining this control. You need to be holding it down but when they push in, set off a Grismot Mine, you can go for a peek around the corner and take them out. Now I'm going to be explaining to you the reason why I would recommend you to put that barbed wire when you are going to be roaming or lurking as Ella. There's a nice combination that I like to use myself which is where I would place the barbed wire down on an area and then place the Grismot Mine just ahead above. Now what I would use for this is the barbed wire to be a sound cue. I'd place the barbed wire so they would hit that first, they'd obviously take the barbed wire out or run through it, and then I'll be onto them and know that they're going to be pushing through there. Now I know in my head that I've also got a Grismot mine just ahead of them for when they turn that corner. So therefore in this situation what I'm going to be doing is using that barbed wire for a sound cue to let me know that they are going to be pushing there, which is going to allow me a bit of time to set up and get ready. And then when they hit that Grismot mine, I'll go for a peek round the corner and either use that SMG to kill them instantly without them being able to react or use that shotgun to spray them down. Which is why Ella's primary weapons are really a great asset to have when combined with your playstyle and ability. The Grismot mines aren't just sound cues, they are very useful for that in order to know where the enemy is pushing, however acting upon these can be great as well. It is a good chance to pick up as a kill, however you do need to know that you are a roamer and your life is very valuable in stopping them from gaining that map control. So you will need to make that smart decision and weigh up whether it is the correct one. Now I have covered a guide on making those smart decisions and correct ones in Siege and there will be a card in the top right if you do require that information. As obviously you are going to have to watch out for any other enemies covering their teammates when they get hit by that Grismot mine and they may be able to refrag your position which is going to leave your team at a disadvantage as you are that roamer stopping the attackers from moving in and gaining that map control. Overall Ella is quite a strong operator in my opinion and with the nerfs that she has she is still there on the leaderboard. I would say that she can be definitely quite a decent roamer in many situations combining her loadout with her ability to pick up a kill here and there but as well hold down and contest the key areas of the map that your team really need. And that is going to be it for today's video guys, I hope you have all enjoyed. If you did or you found this video useful then make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more tips and tricks videos like this one and I'll catch you guys in the next one, bye bye.